global action now what is this global action global action is like we have a two type of actions global action and object level action Uh, global action and object level action. Object specific action. So object specific action is basically if you go to the object level, like go to the object and in the object, either you can go for a standard object or a custom object. Go for that particular object, click on fields and relationship, or oh, sorry, click on these buttons, links, and actions. You can click on a new action. This is object specific, right? So for every object, you can create an action, whether which type of action you wanted to create, like a create, record, send, email, log a call. So these are the different type of actions you can create. It. Similarly, instead of going with the object specific, I wanted to have a global level action should be available so the reason where can i see the global actions global actions are usually available here when i click on this plus button these are the global actions when i click on on top level plus button this is called as a global action so we use this global action in salesforce just to allow the user quickly create the records like if you if I want to create a lead record, then I need to convert into the here, then search for a lead. If lead is not available, search here the lead record. You know, open the lead record and click on the new button. So the multiple clicks are there. Like if the straightforward, like as soon as I logged in, I just wanted to create a lead record. So click on this global action, click on this new lead. So what will happen? It will take you to the some global action window. So this is whatever at the bottom right side corner which is opening those are the global global actions now here it will show only few fields it will not show all the fields what are the mandatory fields or important fields for the objects are there only those fields will be displayed now you can select it which fields you wanted if you are creating the custom one so these are the standard global actions which are provided by the salesforce so here we have a certain information which is available. You can create these actions. But similarly, if you want to create a custom global action, these are the standard global actions. Right? So global action is nothing but in order to create a quickly create the records or a update a record or a send an email, create a task. Right? Or if you want to perform the events if you want to create a events or a send an email so these all activities can be done by the global actions and when we are creating the global action so what are the fields needs to be displayed on the page is decided by the global publisher layout global publisher layout so basically we have a global publisher layout So by using this global publisher layout, we can decide it what are the fields needs to be displayed on the global action. And global action, how can we create it? Go to the setup and search for a global action. Now let's see. For example, we wanted to create our own custom action. Now click on this, click on your setup and search for here local action global actions click on this global actions and then click on this new action for example i wanted to create a new record for the object which is called as a position object right so we have a position object i'm creating the custom or else if you want to modify the standard one like here, it is showing the when I click on the plus button, it is showing the lead, right? So when I click on the new lead, so this new lead is automatically provided by the Salesforce. What are the fields are needs to be displayed? Everything decided by the Salesforce. Now, right now, what I'm doing, I'm creating the custom one. 
So apart from whatever the sales force is creating it, apart from that, I'm creating my own global action as per the requirement. So here it is. I have selected the position. And then as soon as I select the position, automatically icon gets captured of that particular position. Now, standard label type, it's not mandatory, but basically it is like a log call or a create a record, or you just want to create a new record type, escalate it, whichever the one you have it, you can choose it, but it's not mandatory. Let's say that new position. Position and click on this save. Once we are done with the new position, it will be redirected to the global publisher layout. This is publisher layout. So on this layout, Salesforce by default, it is going to display the admin, uh, like a re required fields. It is going to display the required fields. Now you can choose it which are the fields you wanted. Now if you want everything in the one page, you can choose the one page. Like for example, I need a maximum pay also. Choose it and number of vacancies. And what is the position status? So these are the fields I wanted to display and click on save. Right, so here, apart from the layout, if you want to have any predefined field values, Predefined field values is nothing but if you want to define any predefined, like let's say here, number of vacancies. Now I wanted to show the number of vacancies, some value, or else position status is there. By default, I wanted to show the position status is new. Click on save. That is a predefined value. Field value. What should be the predefined field value when I click on the new position? Now, publisher layout. This is the publisher layout, global publisher layout. So, global publisher layout is whatever the layout you are creating it, that is the layout. So, you can create a layout and you can assign it to the publisher layout assignment. Now, let's click on a refresh. Once it is added, then I need to add it onto the publisher layout. So click on this publisher layout. So click on the edit button. Now I'm going to add the one which we have created is new position. I'm going to add a new position. The quick action as well as in the mobile and lightning, we are going to add a new position. Right now, new position is not available in the global action. So first step is create a global action. Create a global action. Step two, add the fields on the layout. And step three, update the publisher layout. And you need to drag and drop the new global action. steps. Once we add, we have added here new position, click on the same. Click on this plus button. Now you will be able to see the new position. So this is the new position. If I click on the new position, it is going to show me the fields. Position name, number of vacancies, open date, predefined value is automatically displaying the new status and minimum, maximum. So these are the fields. Now, if I create it, let's say position status is 
let's assume that let's say detect right number of positions is one open date is today's date or let's say from monday we are opening this position 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 status is new some amount minimum pay in dollars and maximum pay is also same click on this save position record is created so click on this it will take you to the the record which we have created it will be saved into the position record and position name is architect right so here we have a country and hiring manager now these fields we have not added on for the page layout so that's the reason it did not show so what are the fields we have added on for the global action only those fields it is going to show now let's say here hiring manager let's say us and florida and hiring manager i can choose some hiring manager which is a melissa so these are the records so this is how we create it for the global action if you want to quickly create a any record so you can add those global actions here